So, hello party people! I have not made a video in a really, really, really long time and I just felt the need to make a video today because there's a lot of going on. Whoa, that just sounded really, really awkward. But there's... Okay. So, anyway, so I did make a video of me talking about recoil. Um, well, actually, I did. I lied. I did, but I just never posted it. I don't know why, but I kind of deleted it. So, basically, in a little two, three second thing, recoil was perfection, and I loved it, and it was just an amazing episode. And then, reality stars <laughs> My OTP is so much better than your. <laughs> oh my god. So, this is gonna sound like really, really awkward, but I totally call like Gates getting the, um, whatever castle got Beckett. Gates gets it in the shower, like not that long ago, because I don't know what it's about the shower. I just come up with all these like theories for castle. Like, I also came up with. I think he's going to propose at the end of the season, and then it's going to show his face and then her face, and then we're going to have to wait all summer for her answer. So, like, I don't know. Just whatever. So, I totally called that, and when it happened, I was freaking out. And, like, I'm a spoiler whore, and, like, I'm so excited that I don't even try to, like, stay off Twitter anymore when Ned and Aaron watch it. I'm, like, right there, like, refreshing my timeline constantly, like, wanting to see their tweets so like oh my god I think Sona's gonna come out of my nose okay wait no I'm good <laughs> so I don't know I just find it fun to do that so and it, I mean for me it doesn't really spoil me because I don't know how like they play it out like I'm not actually seeing it I'm just reading it so it's all good it's all good but anyways so the episode was hysterically funny I can't even tell you I like pissed myself castle watching real Wives of Wall Street, or whatever the fuck that show is called, is me. That is, like, that is so accurate to my life. And then his little, like, I can't feel my butt is also very accurate to my life because my butt falls asleep all the fucking time. Like, watching TV or just sitting somewhere, my butt falls asleep, and it's the most annoying thing in the world. And you feel like you're sitting on air, so it's kind of cool, but it's kind of annoying in the same way. So it's just like, ugh! But that was me. And then their little, like, banter back and forth about whose gift is better they just need to stop like they just need to stop and then Ryan's over there making babies and like Esplaney got back together oh my god I'm so happy because now nobody in the precinct is single Ryan and Jenny are married Castle and Beckett are dating and Esplaney got back together and I can't even. No, but they need to stop saying things like dating. Like, Castle's like dating a gift ninja. And then Becky was like, she can't know that we're dating. Like, do you know what that does to my feels? Like, can we not say things like that? Okay, thanks. Because that really, like, fucks. The hair porn in this episode was ridiculous. Beckett's hair just needs to fucking leave. And in that one scene, that one scene where they're outside and she's, like, flipping out on Castle, asking him if, like, the note is romantic or whatever her hair in that scene I want to literally roll around on my floor and cry because that is not an okay no 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 and then like the note that he wrote her are you serious castle like shut the fuck up and then you know they just casually walk into her bedroom and I didn't realize this the first time that I watched the episode, but Castle puts his jacket like on the, the 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 footboard. Castle puts his jacket on the side of the bed that he sleeps on, and Becky put her wine on her nightstand. And then that little hug from behind. I don't know who thought that was okay. But they need to get shot in the face. And then she gave him a fucking drawer. A goddamn drawer! And then her smile and her face and everything. And then it just, in that kiss, even though it was really, 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 really dark. 
because on Castle they don't believe in light. And then to top everything else off, she just tells him to go meet her in the bed. Like who the fuck does that? Who the fuck gets their boyfriend a drawer for Valentine's Day, then tells him to take off his clothes, put them in his drawer, and meet her in the bed because it's Valentine's Day and they're going to have hot kinky sex. Like, I cannot even with this show. I honestly, I don't know why I watch it because it's like the most idiotic, stupidest show ever with the most stupidest people in love and everything and Kate Beckett is so in love with him it's ridiculous and it's like three days later and I still have this damn flutter in my chest and I haven't watched the scene today and I refuse but I'm probably going to do that right after I stop bitching or whatever the fuck you call this I, 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 I really, I don't know what to do with myself anymore like, she gave him a goddamn drawer. What's next? He's going to ask her to fucking move in. She already gave him a fucking key to her apartment. Like, ugh. Ugh. Fucking. It is the drawer. It's your drawer. No, Beckett. Shut the fuck up. But, yeah. Oh. And can we talk about the scene where Beckett, like, goes into interrogation and starts screaming and flipping tables? Because, like, the first time I watched that, I was scared shitless. Like, I was shitting my pants. Like, it was so hot and funny and, like, scary all at the same time. So you better hope you don't really piss off Stana in, like, real life. Because she will fucking, like, go tiger ninja on you. Like, that was so funny, though. Oh, man, I can't. But that's basically it, and now it is time for the two-parter. And I'm actually super excited for the two-parter because I'm one of those people who actually likes Alexis when most of the people in this fandom don't, which I really don't understand why we don't like Alexis, but whatever. So I like Alexis, and Castle is crying, so that means I'm crying. And Beckett's going to try to, like, comfort him and stuff, which means I'm going to cry. And next week, she's going to be emotional, like. And then it ends in a cliffhanger. And then the fucking bitch, Andrew Marlowe, wrote the second half of the two-parter. I don't, I don't, I don't know, like, what it is. I don't know why he thinks it's okay to do this shit. I honestly don't. Like, what the fuck is your problem? And apparently the two-parter has, like, a bunch of Castle and Beckett. And, like, all these spoilers, and I, I seriously cannot contain myself. Fuck. And then Sana went on um that Sana Talk Radio thing, which, like, I can't even. Like, I woke up to that this morning. Well, I knew she went on it last night, but I heard it this morning. And I cried myself to sleep because I saw, like, an hour left to sleep. Like, I cried myself to sleep because... She just knows, like, how much we appreciate her and love her and just, oh, she's so, oh, my God, she's such an amazing person. But, like, for real, people in my house need to learn not to bother me while Castle's on because I was seriously going to strangle my uncle if he came in this room one more time and told me to fucking turn my TV down. I missed, the, like, the first... When the episode was premiering, I missed the little where Beckett fixed Ryan's shirt and the little where Esposito told Castle to, like, shut up. I missed that completely because I hit the wrong button because I lost my remote in my room and I don't know where it fucking went. It disappeared. Like, someone came in this room and took it. Like, I think, like, my pet, like, seahorse was just like, I want to watch TV and I lost my remote, so I'm going to go steal Carissa's because I have a pet seahorse because I'm secretly a mermaid. But that's basically it, and I just rambled on for, like, nine minutes. And I swear to God, these things get, like, fucking longer every fucking week. So I'm just going to leave now. So, yeah. So I love you all, and I hope you guys have a great rest of the week. And, yeah. So look how cute my locks created. Okay, bye guys.